So we're going to continue on with the word. Uh, where did the scoffer go? All right, he wanted to deal with me, but he ran, right? Brother ran him about it. He got cut, right? He wanted, he was proud. I was trying to deal with him nice earlier. He kept getting proud, so I said, we'll put you on a summer jam screen and put you in front of the brothers. Right. And his ass got cut up to shreds, man. Right. I tried to be nice, tried to deal with him on the side. Right. But the word of the Lord is going to cut you when you come before the men of the Lord. Right. All right? All right. So we're going to address him real quick, and then we're going to move on while we really came out here. Give me um 1 Corinthians 3 and 5. Give me the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. You give me um, Romans 3 and 3. Right? So we're going to deal with the scoffer. He done ran, but we're going to finish him off even more. Even though he ran away, we're going to finish him off some more. 1 Corinthians 3 and 5. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 5. Who did his pull? And who is a pull? So he kept saying Bivens, Aria, Bivens, Aria. If anybody don't know, those are men, those are some of the elder men that paved the way, that taught this truth in the earlier days. And some of us learned from their teachings, but we chewed the meat and we spit out the bones. Right. If them men went off on certain things, we kept the things that was right and we put the, to the side the things that was wrong. Right. So it says, who is Paul or Apollos? Come on. But ministers. But won't ye believe? Those are ministers. The men that came before us, they were just ministers. They was used by the Most High to get us to a certain level of knowledge, and we continue on. Read on. Even as the Lord gave to every man, God, I have planted. What did the Lord say? I have planted. I have, Paul said, I planted. Come on. Apollos watered. Apollos watered. God. But God. But who? But God. But who? But God. But Yahweh. Come on. Gave the increase. But well, the most high gives the increase. Man plants, man waters, but the most high gives the increase. Right. So those were just men. Those were just men that was used to get us to a certain place. We're not in one west uh, uh one three fish street no more. Right. We're there in Washington, DC. But we're not under Ari and Ben. No disrespect to those brothers, but the Lord used them to teach us to a certain level, and then we could continue on. Go read it again, King. Uh. Who did his pull? God. And who was a pull? God. But ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man, I have planted God. Apollos water. Come on. But God gave the increase. But the most high power, Yahweh, gives the increase. So man plants, man waters, but it's all to the most high, the Mashiach, Yahweh shot. The oh. man kept bivins, Ariah, bivins, Ariah. Bitch, just stuck on men. We in a new whole new day and age right now. No disrespect to our elders, but the stuff they went off on, they went off on. Right. Just like we had to evolve. Brothers that came after them, they went off on stuff, and we had to be like, nah, we got to re-examine that. But the things that they taught us right, we kept it, we watered, and the most I brought the increase. By Hashem and Mashiach, I was shot. By Hashem and Mashiach, I was shot. So the man just stuck on them. Ari, 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 Bivens, Ari, Ari. Those are men by who the most I used to minister unto right. us. That's it. But he brings the increase. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Romans 3 and 3. Read. It's the book of Romans. Chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Listen, a man is condemned already, right? Talking about Christ is bowed. That's why I told him, brother, brother, I don't want to deal with you. I heard them arguments 20 years ago. I done debated on the street in New York with Old Testament Israelites about that stuff 20 years ago. I said, let me feed them to the young lions, man. Right. I'm going to feed your ass to the young lions. I'm going to feed you to the younger brothers that came behind me. And they going to cut you the hell up out of here. Right. Get up out of here, man. I done had them debates 20 damn 30 years ago, man. You know, Christ is bow, right? That's idolatry. I done cut dudes on 31st Street, New York, back in 1999 over that, man. But you ain't here for me. Same scripture, same argument, same thing. Go to the young lions and get cut the hell up, man. Read, King. For what if some did not believe? What did the Lord say? For what if some did not believe? For what if some did not believe? Come on. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Is that going to stop God's word from being the truth? Come on. God, God, God forbid. forbid. God forbid. They think by saying Christ is bow and Christ is idolatry that that's going to make Yahweh shot null and void. Just from them saying it, no. That's not going to stop the Lord's word from being true. Come on. For God forbid. Let God be true for the most high forbid. The Lord forbid, let him be true. Come on. But every man a liar. What all I say? 
The most high Yahweh by Shem Hamachi Yahweh was shot. Uh, uh, what did Yahweh say? Said Saint John. He said, "Anything you ask in my name shall be given unto you." So there's a chain of command, and the brother explained all that. And the man's still hard-headed and stubborn. So we just gonna condemn him and send him on his way. Read it, Kane. As it is written, thou, that thou shouldest be justified in the same. The Lord said, "We're justified in the same." Brothers went back and forth with Old Testament scriptures. Proving your house shots in the Old Testament. If you can't see it, that's on you. Right, come on. And might is overcome when thou art judged. The Lord said, We're going to overcome when we're judged because we're going to be judged by what we read out of this book by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shot. St. John 3 18. Read, Kate. The book of St. John, chapter 3, verse 18. Yeah. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth on the Messiah is not condemned. Go ahead. But he that believeth not, he that believeth not, come on, is condemned already. That man don't realize he's condemned already. Man. That's why the Spirit chased him up out of here, man. Right, you already condemned. Come on, because he have not believed. He have what? Because he have not believed. He have, because he have not believed. Come on, in the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh. Man, asked the name three goddamn times and got the same answer. Right, you don't believe in the name, so you done. Right, come on. And this is the condemnation. And this is the condemnation. Go ahead. That light is coming to the world. The Lord said light is coming to this world. This truth is here. You ain't going to do a damn thing about it. Yahweh is being taught. You ain't going to do a damn thing about it. You're not going to stop it by saying he's bowed. That's not going to stop a damn thing. Right? Come on. And men love darkness. And men love darkness. That's the problem. Just like the Pharisees and the different groups during the time of Yahweh Shah. They hated him back then. The same spirits are here today. And they hate Yahweh Shah now. Right? Come on. Rather than light. The Lord said men love darkness rather than light. Come on. Because their deeds were evil. Because their deeds were evil. The man even have fringes on, man. Trying to call somebody a damn false prophet. Right? Come on. For everyone that doeth evil, God hateth the light. The Lord said, everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Don't you know when you don't accept your Yahweh Shah, you worshiping Satan, man? You worshiping the damn devil. When you reject the most high the Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, you might as well go pray to damn Satan, man. So that man is done and finished already. By Hashem and Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Right, come on. He that cometh to the light. He that cometh to the light. Come on. Lest his deeds shall be reproved. The Lord said his deeds are going to be reproved. You come before the men of the Lord, you're going to get sent on your damn way. Right. Now give me our Psalms chapter 2 verse 7. Let's get the real reason why we came out here. Right? This so-called rally for reparations, right? Hold on Esau. You got something to say? Come up here. Come up here, buddy boy. Bring your skateboard too. All right, come on up here, boy. All right? Come on up here, boy. Right here, front and center in the middle. Come right here. Sit on your skateboard. Sit on your skateboard right there. All right, sit on your skateboard. Sit on your skateboard. All right? I'm being nice. I should have made you sit on the ground. Right? I could have made you sit on the ground. Sit right there, Esau. Let me make this point real quick. Then we'll get to you. Read the book of Psalms, chapter 2 and verse 7. I will declare the decree. Psalms 2 and 8. Till I can get right to the point. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen. Uh, give me Revelation 2.25. Psalms chapter 2 and verse 8. Ask of me, and I shall uh, thee. And I shall, I shall give, give thee. thee. Take your time. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. The Lord said, ask of me, and I'm going to give you some real reparations. I'm going to give you the damn heathen for thine inheritance. Oh! And the uttermost part of the earth. And the uttermost parts of the earth. Come on. For thy possession. For what? For thy possession. That's our true reparations, man. We're going to have the damn nations and chains and rule the entire earth and universe. You niggas can't come out here and ask the white man for a damn $20 trillion check and he's going to give it to you. The Lord said, ask of me and I'm going to give you the real reparations. I'm going to give you the nations in chains and I'm going to give you rulership over the earth and the entire universe. Tom, I like that. Psalms 2 and 8 again. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8. Ask of me. Come on. And I shall give thee the heathen 
for thy inheritance Come on. and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. The Lord said, ask of him. He didn't say come and ask Joe Biden. He didn't say come to Washington, D.C., the Freedom Plaza, and ask the damn devil for a $20 trillion check. And a white man ain't giving it up, man. Right. You think if they're making Kyrie Irving pay $500,000 to the ADL and they reject the $500,000, you think you're going to get $20 trillion from Biden? Yeah. Hell no, man. You're going to get your reparations from the most high God of Israel. Revelation 2.25. Read, King. The book of Revelation. After 2 verse 25. But that which you have already. God said, that which you have already. Come on. Hold fair. Who I say? Hold fair. You're not giving up your house shot for some bug out, man. Right. You're not giving up your house shot for some cat that called him bow. What did the Lord say? Hold fair. The Lord said, we're going to hold fast to the Messiah. How much you got your house shot. Right. Some bug out with our fridges on. Talking about he's a true man of God and a true prophet. He's not going to let us go on your house shot. All right, come on. How fast till I come? God. And he that overcometh. The Lord said, he that overcometh. Come on. And keep up my work. And keep my words. Go ahead. Until the end. To how long? Until the end. How long we have to endure? Until, Until the end. The Lord said, he that keepeth his works and endure to the end. Come on. To him will I give power over the nation. That's your reparations right there, man. That's your reparations right there. The Lord said, you got to endure to the end. And then I'm going to give you power over the nations. Come on. And he shall rule them. Hold on, Esau. We got a job for you real quick. Right, right go ahead. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. The Lord said we're going to rule the nations with a rod of iron. That's your reparations. That's some damn $20 trillion check that Biden ain't going to give you. Right, come on. At the first of my power, so it be broken to shepherd. You're going to be broken down to smithereens like Esau right here. And even lower than that, man. You're going to be broken. In the kingdom, he's going to have a damn sack on and be picking cotton. He's going he to be wearing a sack and have a sack in his hand so he can make that damn cotton quarter every day. Right, come on. Even as I received that my father. Even as I received it, how shall I receive that power? Hold on. From his father, go ahead. And I will give him the morning star. Come on. He that have an ear, let him hear what, what the Spirit say unto the church. So he that can get understanding, get understanding of what the scriptures say true reparations is. The Lord said, I'm going to give you the heathen and the uttermost parts of the earth. I'm going to let you rule the nations with a rod of iron. That's your true reparations. That's right. Right. The book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 10. Come on. His children shall seek to please the poor. What did Lord say? His children shall seek to please the poor. And his hands shall restore the good. Now see, in these last days, the so-called white man, he is going to start giving it up when the Lord start kicking his behind. Remember what happened in Egypt? When the Lord put the ten plagues on Egypt, what happened? The Egyptians, they gave us the damn gold and silver and said, go, go, go. So when the Lord start jacking his kingdom up, they're going to start giving up to a degree. But the ultimate reparations is the kingdom. Right? Get it, get it, don't get it twisted. Get it true. Right? Come on. His bones are full of... Uh, jump down to 15. This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 15. Come on. He has swallowed down the riches. He has swallowed down riches. Come on. And he shall and he shall vomit them up again. And the Lord said he's going to vomit them up again. So his ass going to give it up. He's still going to give it up. But it's going to be by the power of Yahweh. By Hashem HaMashiach Yahweh Shot. That's how he's going to give it up. Right? Not by you coming out here having a rally. Talking about we want a trillion, $20 trillion dollar check. All right, this is the agenda. We got the agenda. We got the program set up. And this is what we asking for. Esau is laughing at your ass, man. They're in the White House right now sacrificing a little Israelite baby laughing at your ass. Right now, they're laughing at you. So the true reparations is going to come from Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Give me, uh, give me uh, Psalms 105.36. Hold on, Esau. Right, give me Psalms 105.36. Uh, you give me Revelation 18 and 6. All right, Psalms 105, 36, Revelation 18 and 6. Here's your true reparations out of the Bible. Read, King. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 36. Oh. He smote also all the firstborn in his land. See that? When the Lord start killing these devils in these last days on a high level, that's when they're going to start giving it up. It ain't going to be you begging Biden for a $20 trillion check. Just like Egypt. When the Lord put the 10 plagues on Egypt, they said, take all our gold, silver, everything, and just go. Only let the wrath of the Lord don't be upon us anymore. Right. All right, so that's when Esau going to give it up when the Lord start kicking his ass in these last days. Not when you fucking him in Washington, D.C. Read, King. 
and he smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. He did what? He brought them forth also with silver and gold. When the Lord smote the Egyptians, he brought forth Israel with silver and gold. But he had to kick Egypt behind. And then they said, listen, the wrath of God is upon us. And they gave it up, man. Right, come on. And there was not one feeble person among their the tribes. Said, there was no feeble person amongst our tribes. We came out in, of Egypt in strength and power, and we took all the damn spoils from the Egyptians. But what had to happen first? The Lord had to kick the Egyptians behind. Not you begging Joe Biden for a damn check. Esau's the devil, man. He ain't going to give it up. If they're mad, if they're calling anti-Semitism because a black man showed a, shared a damn documentary that's already public, what the hell you think they're going to give you 20 million? Fuck what about you think? Fuck hold on, Esau. We're going to get into that. All right? Right. We Hold on one second, right? So if, he, if he's mad about a damn documentary that shared, that was already on a public platform, what make you think he's going to give your ass a $20 trillion check? See that? So this is not, listen, listen, listen. This is not the Lord's program. Give me Isaiah 54, 13. Read what you got. You get Isaiah 54, 13. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 6. Reward her. Even as she rewarded you. That's your reparations right there. Reward Babylon America like she rewarded the children of Israel. Right. Come on. Isaiah 41 10. Isaiah 41 10. Hold on, Esau. You you got Esau, you got scripts, you got precepts? Esau got precepts? All right, read, King, read. <laughs> and devil unto her. And what did Lord say? And devil unto her. And devil unto her. Come on. Double according to her work. Double according to your work, Babylon. That's going to be our reparations. When the Lord start paying your ass back with judgment. Right, come on. In a cup which you have filled. In a cup that you have filled America, Babylon, Satan's kingdom. Right, come on. Filled to her double. Lord say? Filled to her double. That's your reparations. The Lord going to fill the cup of judgment upon Babylon double. Right, come on. How much she have glorified herself. And live deliciously. How much she glorified herself and lived deliciously. Come on. So much torment and sorrow give her. The Lord says so much torment and sorrow give back to Babylon. So you're going to pay. It's going to be some damn reparations. But it's going to be by the power of Yahweh. By Shemamah Shiach Yahushai. Read King. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 54 verse 13. Come on. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. Our children gonna be taught of the Lord, not about reparations and begging a white man in Washington, D.C. Come on. And great shall be the peace of thy children. And great is gonna be the peace of our children. You know when our children gonna have peace? When they taught about the Most High and taught the law, statutes, and commandments of this Bible. Not this nonsense, not Eidos and, and FBA. Those are just modern day titles, man. Foundational black American. Where's that in the scriptures, man? But where's, where's American descendants of slaves? We know what you mean by that. But our proper names are in the Bible. Right, come on. In righteousness shall there be established. The Lord said in righteousness we're going to be established. No, by a rally in D.C. In righteousness shall there be established. Well, we got to come back to Adol. In righteousness shall there be established. We got to come back to FBA. In righteousness shall there be established. We got to have a rally for reparation. In righteousness shall there be established. The Lord said righteousness we're going to be established. By coming back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Not a rally for reparations. And the sister, the sister came out here early and she said, why y'all against them? Y'all over here and y'all going against them? I said, no, sis. It's not about being against our fellow brothers and sisters. It's about proper edification on what the Lord said out of the Bible. Not some rally for reparations. So we're not really out here to be against our people. We are here to show them that's the wrong way. And that's not the path that the Most High going to set us on. Right? And the Lord said, in righteousness shall thou be established. Not in a rally for reparations. Right, so the Bible is clear, and we're making it clear to our people, whether you hear or forbid. Right, whether you want to listen or not, you want to come with this nonsense rally and waste time, then the Lord, you're going to be rejected in that day. Come on. There shall, Salaki, there shall be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Come on. Behold, thou shalt surely gather together. Behold, they shall surely gather together. Come on. But not by me. But what? But not by me. This rally for reparations is what? But not by me. This is not of the Lord, man. The Lord said they're going to gather together, but not by me. 
Now that's this is not my gathering. I'm not the man. My gathering is right here with my men that's teaching my word. Right. right. So it's not about us being against the brothers, sis. It's about us edifying our people on what the most hot said. Right. It's not about, oh, we are here to be against them. No. Right. We're going to rebuke it, but it's about edifying and letting you know where our true strength and power is going to come from. Right. Read it again, King. How much she has glorified herself. No, no, no. Um, you, Slack. My bad. They should surely got it together. Slack. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse uh, 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together. They shall surely gather together, God. But not by me. The Lord said, listen, my spirit ain't out there with them gatherings, man. They should surely gather together, but not by me. It's not ordained of Yahweh and Yahweh shot. So our job is to come out here and properly edify our people. Now, what's going on with you, Esau? You was out here for the rally? No, no, you can't get the mic, man, because out of you, that, we don't. Listen, man, it's COVID and monkeypox out here, man. You can't get the mic, huh? What's your name? RJ. RJ. RJ is on the set. Okay, RJ, what's up with you? What's your setup? It says in the Bible, not, not, uh, not, not to partake in uh, sorcery. Right, you're right. That's Isaiah 41. You quoted it. Yeah, sorcery, witchcraft, idolatry, we don't partake in that. And they're using this as a vessel or a conduit against our wills. Yes, they are. The, the and, powers and, that be, they use a lot of sorcery and, and witchcraft. Freedom. They they rule this kingdom under, it's USA is really under Satan's authority. Right. All right, this kingdom is about... Huh? Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus Say it again. Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ, Christ is coming back. back. Amen. Do you know what color he is? And, Nobody uh, don't start know. stuttering on me, RJ, now. Don't get the stuttering, RJ. I uh, now see RJ stuttering now. Now RJ stuttering when he get the RJ, you was doing good. You was you had you had precepts and everything, RJ. RJ had precepts, but now RJ, listen, I need you. RJ, what color is the Messiah? Nah, nah, see, see? RJ was doing good, but you messing up now. Now you slipping, RJ. Come on. You slipping. What color is the Messiah? What color is the Messiah? I don't want to hear many will come back. What color is the Messiah, RJ? Right, no, but what color is it? I want you to say it. We know it's in the Bible, but, but say it. Nobody knows. Ah, you're a damn liar. Give me Revelation 1. <laughs> right, give me Revelation You give me 1 Corinthians 15. And now, uh, RJ, no. No, no, no. I, I, wait, RJ. You said nobody knows. You said it's in the Bible, but nobody knows. Which one is it? If it's in the Bible, somebody got to know. Right. Somebody had to write, write it cause so they know it, and then we can read it so we'll know it. Right, RJ? Read Revelation 1 and 1. Let them off the hook. Read. Revelation 1 and 1. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. God. The revelation of Jehoshua, which God gave it to him. Now jump down to 13. Read. You know what I want? And in the midst of the candlesticks, Come on. one look unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Now it said, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. Right? Now you see, these images of the disciples and from the Russian icons, and what? They got long garments on down to the foot. Go ahead. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. It said Christ was girt about his paps with a golden girdle around his garment. Come on. His head and his hair, his head and his hairs, go ahead. Were white like wool. So what people have woolly textured hair, RJ? Asia. Huh? Asia. No, not no damn Asians. Asians got stringy hair like you. What cut what people have woolly textured hair, RJ? Russia and No, nah, see, yeah, yeah. The icons in Russia got woolly hair. Yeah, the icons got it, but not the Russians. No, not the white Russians, man. The 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 black icons from Russia, they got afros in the paintings. They got woolly hair afros. What people have on um, woolly hair? See, RJ, you being a white supremacist now, man. You being a white supremacist now. Even in a low, in a low level, the so-called white man still don't want to say the Messiah is black, man. Even on a low level, RJ. RJ is a low level white supremacist. Read, King. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What people on the earth have woolly textured hair? So-called black people, RJ. People of color. Right? Come on. <clears throat> Like as white as snow, come on. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on, and his feet. And it said, RJ said, Yahushua's feet. Come on, like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. Go ahead. As did they burn in the furnace. So if you burn brass in a furnace, what color is it going to get? Dark or black? Go ahead. Right. 
Why Jay still don't want to say it, man? He's still a damn white supremacist, man. No, still don't want to say it. No, See, you so-called white, but you, even in your lowest state, no, you're proud. No, no. Jump down to three. Get to the point. For I delivered it to you. Go ahead. And you give me first shot. First of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins. It said, how shall died for the sins of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures, which is the Old Testament. It's all over the Old Testament. Just like that damn scoffer earlier, man. The brother's pulling tons of precepts from the Old Testament. He still want to be proud and ignored and talk over the scriptures and read the scripture he want to pull out with no damn understanding. Right, like, come on. And that he was burned and that he rose again the third day. It said he was buried and he rose again the third day. God. According to the scriptures, according to the scriptures, and a brother went into Psalms and showed where that prophecy was being was um, fulfilled through David. Right? Come on. And that he was seen. He said nobody knows what Christ looked like. What does it say? And that he was seen. So if you see somebody, you gotta know what they look like, R.J. Right? Don't be, don't, don't be don't be hypocritical, R.J. You said it's in the Bible, the but then you said he nobody knows. Wait, wait a minute. Read it again. And that he was buried. And then rose again the third day, Come on. according to the scriptures. God. And that he was seen. He was what? He was seen. He was what? He was seen. Well, RJ said nobody knows what he looked like. What did it say? He and that he was seen. If you see somebody, you have to be able to say and explain how they look. You would know that description because you seen them. Right? Come on. Of Cephas and the twelve. God. After that, he was seen as what? After that, he was seen. He was what? After that, he was seen. Nobody know what he looked like. After that, he was seen. He was seen. Come on. Of about 500 brethren. About 500 brethren. Go ahead. At once. So you mean to tell me out of all these 500 men, nobody knew what he looked like? Right. Nobody knew what the Messiah looked like? Nobody knows? See that? You ever not knowing the scriptures or the power of God, RJ. I thought you had precepts for me, man, but you don't. All right, First John 5 and 10. Read. The book of First John, the 5 verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of God have the witness in himself. He that believeth on the Son of God have the witness in himself. That's another thing. This dude, don't, that dude up here earlier, he don't have a witness in himself. And what is the witness of the Son of God? The Bible. But hold on, give me Proverbs 14 and 5. All right, hold on, um, hold on, uh, uh, First John. Give me Proverbs 14 and 5 real quick. The witness is the word of God. That's how you know who the Messiah. Now, if you don't want to believe it, that's on you. You already condemned like you read in uh, 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 John 3, 18. Read King Proverbs 14, I believe it's 5. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 14, verse 5. Hello. A faithful witness will not lie. The Lord said what? A faithful witness will not lie. This Bible will not lie because it's a faithful witness. We just read that over 500 men seen the Messiah at once. So read again from the top, King. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 5. A faithful witness. A faithful witness. Come on. Will not lie. Will not lie. Go ahead. But a false witness. But a false witness, RJ. Go ahead. Will utter lies. Will utter lies, RJ. You said nobody knows what he looked like. You utter lies, RJ. Hey, that makes you a false nobody witness. Read what you got, Kung. He that first shot fired into the game. Read. He that believed upon the Son of God had the witness in him. No, we wasn't come. talking about the day he was coming. We said how he looks. We didn't, say, we didn't say nobody knows the date. We know that. Anybody. We know that. Only the Most High knows that. But right. we was talking about how nobody he looked, R.J. Read, King. He that believe him not God have made him a liar. He that believe him not God have made him a liar. Believe him not God, have made him a liar. He that don't believe the Most High have made him a liar. Come on. Because he believe him not the record. He believe not what? He believe him not the record. He don't believe the record. You don't believe the record, which is the Bible, which is the faithful witness. Come on. That God gave his son. That that what? That God gave his son. The Lord said you don't believe the record that the Most High gave of his son, which is the Bible. You cannot say nobody knows how he looked when the Bible tells you how he looks. Right. right? See that? So you make you make God a liar, man. You try to make the Lord a liar because you don't believe the witness in himself. Excuse me. Well, okay. All right. So what colors? What colors is the Messiah, RJ? The man can't answer it. The know. man cannot answer it. The man can't answer it, man. Give me Proverbs 16, 18. That's why a lot of you devils, you're going to get dealt with in that day, man. Because a lot of you are proud, man. You give me um Isaiah 2 and 11. All right? A lot of you, a lot, no, no, RJ. A lot of you devils are proud. And even in your low estate, 
your, 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 your spirit, your white supremacy still won't allow you to admit that you're, you're colorblind. Yes, sir, you're color, color, you're not colorblind. You know color. I know your ass know not to cross the street when the light is red. Right. Oh, you get ran the hell over. I bet your ass know color's dead. So stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it, RJ. Who do you think you're talking to up here, man? Read, King. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 18. Come on. Pride goes before destruction. I said pride goes before destruction, RJ. Come on. And a haughty spirit. You got a haughty spirit on you. Come on. Before it falls. See that? So you're going to fall just like the rest of your white race. See, it's funny, but the joke going to be on you. Right. The joke is going to be on you, RJ. Read what you got, King. The book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 11. Bring it out. The lofty looks of a man shall be humble. The Lord said, you so-called white dude, even in your lower state, man, you got lofty looks. The lofty looks of man going to be humbled. Come on. And the haughtiness of men God. shall be bowed and bowed down. Come on. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Come on. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud. God said his day is going to be upon everyone that is proud. Go ahead. And lofty. And what? And, and lofty. And lofty. Go ahead. And upon everyone that is lifted up. And everyone that's lifted up. Come on. And he shall be brought low. You're going to be brought low. Well, RJ is already brought low, but he's still proud. He's still proud, man. Right? You're still proud. So I, I give you one more, uh, one more, one more chance. What color was the Messiah? I said I'm proud of you because I love you. Right now, you can't love me. If you love me, why did your people treat me so bad? Right. Right. Let, let, ask, answer me this, RJ. Do you love me? Do you love me? You said you love me. Would you show it through action? Hold on. Wait a minute, RJ. Would you show that you love me if, if through action? If I told you to do something, all right, give me Isaiah 49, 23. Let's see if RJ, let's see if RJ really loves all the priests of Bach. Let's see if RJ really loves me. RJ, RJ, you said you love me. I don't know about you, but love is done indeed, right? Right. Indeed in the truth, right? right? Isaiah 49, 23, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. Yeah. Now, hold on, how do you feel about slavery? Slavery was a bad thing. But RJ, man, come on! They don't give me, was... don't give me the poor white supremacist no, uh, answer, man. And, and I'm from don't, the state don't, of Virginia. Don't, uh, you're I'm Virginia. From Forget Virginia. about it, man. I'm Forget about it, Virginia. No, you got nothing but blood, blood on your hands, RJ. RJ, the way. RJ the way. Don't, the way. don't listen. Don't talk. Don't try to talk me in circles. You can't do that. That don't work up here. Don't try to talk me in circles. Answer the question: Are you sorry about slavery? Fuck slavery. You said, all right. You said you love me. Would you show through your actions, RJ? All right, read Isaiah 49, 23. Read. And kings shall be a nurse and father. The kings of this earth. RJ, you supposed to be sitting up in the White House. You supposed to be sitting up in the Capitol with Biden. You're a so-called white man. This is your kingdom. Right, but they took you out of the equation. Right, come on. And the queens, they nurse and mother. And the queens are going to be our nurse and mothers. Go ahead. They shall bow down to thee. So now, RJ, would you bow down right here? Right on this sign? Would you bow down right here? Now he already getting proud, man. Already getting uh, proud, man. Give me Proverbs 28 and 4. All right, Proverbs 28 and 4. Read it again, King. Huh, Khan. And kings shall be thy nursing father. God. And the queens thy nursing mother. So now, RJ, would you bow down right now and apologize for slavery? Fuck How would you bow down and apologize? You said you love me, so I, I want to. Uh, wait a minute. I want to see through your actions if you really love me. Yes or no? See, he's proud, man. He's a, he's proud. He's proud. He's a he's a he's a red blue eyed devil. All right. He's a he's a white red blue eyed devil. Right. See, RJ, you still a devil, RJ. Even if in your lowest state, I thought your lowest state would humble you, but obviously you're still proud. Read, King. They shall bow down to thee with the face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. That's all right. You one that got away, RJ, but there'll be many to replace you. And you're going to do it in that day also. You got a precept. Bring it out. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25 and verse 2. Three sorts of men my soul hated, and I am greatly offended at their life. The Lord said, listen, mate. The Lord said through Syrac, three things, three sorts of men. Have I hated and I am offended by their lives, right? Offended. Listen carefully, RJ. Come on. A poor man that is proud. That's what it is. That's what you are, RJ. You're a poor man that's proud. They done cut you out of the damn equation and you're still proud. Right? The Lord said he hates a poor man that's proud. Come on. A poor man that is proud. 
a rich man that is a liar God. and an old adulterer that dotes. The Lord said a rich man is that is a liar, like the so-called white man. Right. Right. Like a, 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 the scriptures tell you, the rich ruler over the poor, right. and a, a, a borrower is servant to the lender. Right. And the Lord said an old adulterer that doteth. That means that continue in that sin. Yeah. Right. And with you so-called white people, you fit all three of them type of men yeah. that the Lord right. hates. But the Lord said he hates a poor man that's proud. Yeah. You are a poor man, RJ, that's proud, man. You're a poor man that's proud. Give me Isaiah 47 and 1. Give me Isaiah 47 and 1, man. Give me Isaiah 47 and 1. You're not colorblind because you would not cross the street if the light was uh, red or your ass would be dead, RJ. Right, a car, a Mack truck will come and run your ass over. Right. All right, you see? But see, RJ is proud, man. The Lord, and the Lord said he hates a poor man that's proud. Read, King. The book of Isaiah, at the 47 verse 1. Bring it out. Come down and sit in the dust. See that? Because you, that's why you're in a lower state, RJ, because you're still proud in a lower state. So that's why the Lord put you down in the dust. Go ahead. Come down. And this is the future for all you so-called white people. All of you going to end up like a bunch of RJs. And you're going to eventually end up in our damn cotton field. Read, right. yeah. Come down and sit in the dust. Come down and sit in the dust, RJ. Go ahead. A virgin daughter of Babylon. And you are the virgin daughter of Babylon. Come on. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Go ahead. There is no throne. The Lord said there's no more throne. Go ahead. Oh, daughter of the Chaldean. See, you so-called white people, your kingdom is falling, man. Your kingdom is going to fall. That's why no matter what you do to Kyrie and Kanye, the spirit is going to come out. It's going to come out that we're the real Jews. It's going to come out no matter what. That's the spirit doing all that. Even if Kyrie give money and apologize, Kanye apologize one day, then he double down the next day, it don't matter. That's the Lord bringing it out, man. That's the Lord bringing out the truth. Them guys may never come out here and do the work with us, but the Lord using them. He's using a voice and their celebrity status to say, yes, we are the real Jews that the Bible's right. Are. And a lot of you going to come before the men of the Lord in that day because of that. Because you heard that rich man speak, you're going to come before the men of the Lord and get edified and come into this truth. Yeah. But a lot of you, you 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 on a so-called white man's bandwagon so hard. Oh no, don't 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 say that, Kanye. Don't lose your endorsements. Don't lose your money. No, 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 no. You gotta play the game. What that nigga Shaq said, he's gonna call a uh, uh, Kyrie an idiot. With his dumb big galoop, big gorilla monkey ass, had the damn documentary shown in his movie theater. But then he gonna call Kyrie an idiot. Cause you niggas are some coons, man. Proverbs 17, 15. You niggas are some coons. The best coons money didn't even have to buy. But oh, this idiot. That damn Charlemagne the coon. Not Charlemagne the God. Charlemagne the coon. That man gonna call Kanye KK Kanye. These niggas are something else, man. That's where the Lord gonna remove you. And you give me Isaiah 5 and 20. Read, King. The book of Isaiah, sucker. The book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 15. Yeah. He that justifies the wicked. He that justify the wicked. Come on. And he that condemns the just. And you condemn the just. Come on. Even they both. What did Lord say? Even they both. Even they both. Come on. Are abomination to the Lord. The Lord said, that's what you are. You're an abomination to the Lord. He that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. So are you going to bow down and say sorry, RJ? Right. You're not going to do it. You're too proud, man. You are, you're a white, red, and blue-eyed devil, man. You're a red, white, and blue devil, man. That's what you are, man. You're a red, white, and blue devil. All right, where's an American flag when I need it? All right, he's a red, he's a red, white, and blue. That's what you are. That's what you are. You're a red, white, and blue devil, RJ. And you're proud, man. You're very proud. But that's all right. We got you in the kingdom. We got you in the kingdom, man. You're going to bow in the kingdom. Isaiah 5 and 20. Read, King. Book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe to them that call evil good. And good evil. What did I say? Woe to them that call evil good. Woe to them that call evil good. Go ahead. And good evil. And good evil. Come on. That put darkness for light. Come on. And light for darkness. That's how a lot of our people are, man. Bunch of damn coons, man. Instead of you saying, what well, a brother shared a documentary to edify his people, to wake up to the fact that we are the real Jews and Hebrews. Even, even, Shaq, he could have even said, well, hey, the guy didn't do nothing wrong but share a documentary. Just check out the, the documentary, the information. You agree or you, or you don't agree. Right. It's true or it's not. The man could have said that he going to call a brother an idiot. Just so his big monkey ass can still be a coon. 
But I, I, I hate a big cool nigga, man. A big, that's the worst, man. A, 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 a big Negro should be on the front line in this war, man. Now, a big cool Negro, man. You got little brothers like us got more heart than these big cool niggas, man. Big, big, big gorilla ate damn animal cool niggas, man. I hate a big cool nigga, man. The damn Jolly Green, J Jolly Negro Giant, man. Why are you gonna get it? He's an idiot. Shaq, man, if you don't go sit your ass down somewhere and dress up like a damn woman, right. like the damn effeminate homosexual that you are, and let real men handle this business, let real men get down to business and handle this business, man. You niggas are a bunch of damn coons and sellouts, man. That's why the Lord can't use you. Give me Acts chapter 4 and verse 30. All right, we're going to teach this gospel in boldness and zeal. Right. Like, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. So come and interview us. We got an interview for you. We'll answer your questions. Right, me what you got, King? The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 30. Go! By stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Yahawashah. Come on. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken. The Lord said when they came together in righteousness on one accord, they prayed and the place was shaken. Come on. When they were assembled together. When they were assembled together. Go ahead. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Come on. And they that spread the word of God. And they preached the word. They, they preached the gospel and the word of the Lord. God. With boldness. With what? With, with boldness. Are we supposed to teach this word? With, with boldness. boldness. Said, we supposed to teach this gospel with boldness, man. But not on scared. Well, what I meant to say was, and you know, and you know, but I didn't really mean it that way. No, 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 no. Negro, we mean it all the way. Right. You so-called white people are the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. You're not the real Jews. Right. All right. You know, Kanye talking about, but well, we're the blood of Christ also. No, we are the blood of Christ, Kanye. Right. That are you talking about we're the blood of Christ also. Right. Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. I see you, boy. Right? The red devil. Right there. Walking. Look at him. <laughs> Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. Right, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Y'all said that said the devil is red, right? When you look at it. Right. But right, look at RJ. RJ is red as hell. Right. All right. He's more redder, but RJ is red as hell. That's the devil in front of you, man. Right there. Right there. All right. Really? Yo, what you want? Yo. Ride your bike over here. You can't come through there. Because he want to be a demon. That's all. Because his ass, he been on the side getting cut the whole time. He been he been over there in the he been over there in the cut and he been getting cut the whole time too. So his spirit is convicted. All right, his, his, his spirit is convicted. Yo, go around, go around. Why would you want to ride through here? All right, let's continue with the word, man. Where we was at, to like you. Right, read. And the multitude of them that believe or have one heart and of one soul. What the Lord say? And the multitude of them that believe were of, were of one Hold heart. On. Hey, 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 hold on, brother, brother, order, let's get order. Let's get order, let's get order. Let's get order, no folly, no folly. Let's get back order, all right? Get back order. The spirits, they get mad, they get mad because they get cut, and, and, and he want to do a sucker move and ride his bike through the camp. Come on, man. Like, come up here like a man and, and deal with us like a man. Don't, right. don't try to do a goofy-ass punk move and ride your bike through the camp, man. Right, right. Come on, man. Let's continue with the way he's still over there running his damn mouth. Right, right. Get out of here, boy. Right, right, read. Right, read. Acts to the four verse thirty-two. Thank you. Go back to uh, Proverbs twenty-eight. Um, I, I, I know we never read that. Read. And a multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Come on. Neither said any of them that all of the things which he possessed was his own. The Lord said they didn't have their own possessions. They shared equally amongst each other. But I just want the part where they preach the word in boldness. All right, read, King. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 4. Get out. They that forsake the law. I think it's Seth. No, uh, Proverbs 29. Uh, um, he that forsaketh the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. 28, 28 and uh, 7. 20 and 9, 28 and 9. Right, so I can read, King. The water. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 9. Oh, no. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. So you so-called white people don't keep the laws of God. Right? You don't keep the laws of the Most High. So the Lord said what? Read it again. He that, you don't keep the laws of the Most High, man. Oh, you don't. Right? So the Lord said what? Read. 
he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, so he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, God, even his prayers, even what? Even his prayers, even his what? Even his prayers, his prayers, come on, shall be an abomination. I said, Your prayers are an abomination, RJ. So you can't pray for us, man, because you so called white people, you don't keep the law, you're the children of Satan. Right. All right, and you proved it through your pride, man. You didn't want to bow down. You 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 miss vital things, man. You, want me you miss down vital down things. Down you what? You miss vital things, I, I RJ. Confused. You I, didn't want to say the Messiah was black. You, you didn't want to bow down, and you miss vital things, man. We all, oh, man. We gonna be hard on you in the kingdom, because right. you was proud, man. You was proud, RJ. So we gonna be hard on you. You missed out on vital things, man, that you could have did to show you were sorry and admit. And instead of a hundred lashes, we would have gave you ninety nine point nine nine nine. Right. But now you done messed up. Now you know what we gonna do? Like I tell you in Deuteronomy, it said don't exceed forty lashes. So we gonna give you thirty nine, and then we are gonna start all right. over again. Right. Right. Like you did us in slavery. Right. Then you did the same thing us to slavery. Yeah, right. Give me Galatians six and seven. Did yeah. That? You did the same did thing in slavery. You. Yes, you did. I yes, you did. Yes, you did. You. Right. I didn't do yes, you are the you. children. You are the children of your ancestors, man. Right, give me home side rock 41 and 5. You are the children of your ancestors. You did it, R. You did it, RJ. You did it. You know how you did it? You did it. You did it by not admitting. You did it by not admitting the Messiah is black. You did it by not bowing down. And you turn it right now. You turn it, you turn it more right now. So that devil is coming out of you. Re King. The book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. No. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. What Lord say? For whatsoever a man soweth. Again for the top select. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Come on. God is not mocked. You can't mock the most high. Go ahead. For whatsoever a man soweth. Whatsoever a man soweth. Come on. That shall he also reap. So we're going to get you in slavery, RJ, boy. Right. 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 Work, boy. I got some work for you, boy. I got some work for you, RJ. And your pride got you in trouble more. Your pride, you didn't want to bow down. You didn't want to admit your Howard Shaw was a black man. So your pride going to get you in more trouble. Read it one more time, King. So like it. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. No. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You're going to reap the same thing, man. You're going to get that judgment back upon you. All right, so you ready to change your mind? Right, give me Psalms 109 verse 7. What you holding? So like if Sirach 41 and 5. You give me Psalms 109 verse 7. Read. Book of Sirach, chapter 41, verse 5. Right out. The children of sinners are abominable. Children, you're the children of your forefathers, which were sinners, man. Right? They put us in slavery and they mistreated us. They made our babies gator bait. Right? They made uh, uh even up until now. Look what you did. The movie's out now. Look what you did to Emmett Till. Had that man looking like a damn elephant man back in the 50s. You gonna pay for that, devil. Look right. what you're doing now. Hey, Look what you you're still that. doing hey, now. Hey, right, Rick, King. You no, you can't ask that. Rick. The children of the sinners are children. What did I say? The children of the sinners are abominable children. The children of sinners are abominable children. You're an abominable child right now. You're an abominable child, RJ. Rick. And they that are. Uh, Conversion. Conversion in the dwelling of the ungodly. Come on. The inheritance of sinners. Children shall perish. The Lord said the inheritance is going to perish. All this that Esau got, all this that you rape, rob, murder, and stole is going to perish, man. In one hour. In one hour, the Lord is going to nuke this damn place and turn it into ash. Right, come on. Then they push. Select it. Their posterity shall have. Perpetual. Perpetual reproach. The Lord said, yeah, their posterity, meaning their genie, the, the uh, children that come behind them, their descendants, their prosperity, or uh, their posterity, we need to get. The children of the sinners are abundant with children, and they that are conversant in his dwelling. So you so called white people of today, you are the children of the sin of the sinners of your forefathers. All the rape, robbery, and evil and murder that they've done, you are the children of your forefathers. Come on. The inheritors of sinners, children, shall perish. And their posterity shall have perpetual repentance. The Lord said their posterity shall have 
a perpetual reproach, meaning you are going to be scorned for the deeds of your forefathers. You know why? Because you are your damn forefathers. Right? So you are a generation, you are a posterity of your forefathers, so you're going to be scorned. You're going to be reproached for their misdeeds and evil and wickedness. Go on. The children will complain of the ungodly father. I didn't do it. Those are my ancestors. They're going to complain of an ungodly father. It wasn't me. It was my forefathers. Come on. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall reproach for his sake. The Lord said they're going to complain about their forefathers because they're going to get rebuked and scorned for what their ancestors have done because you are your ancestors. Here you came. Will be unto you ungodly men. Will be unto you ungodly men. Come on. Which have forsaken the law of the Most High. In America, man, you know, you say God we trust, but you don't keep one law in the Bible, man. Right. You don't keep no law in the Bible. All right, come on. For if ye increase, it shall be your destruction. Listen, if you increase, it's going to be to your destruction. Come on. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. That's what uh, uh, that links up with Job. Job said, if his children be multiplied, let it be for the sword. By a shimmer, my shock, y'all was shot. Now, come on. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. Oh, that I said on that. If you die, even a, a, even in death, a curse is going to be your portion. You so-called right when you can't get out of it in life or death. Right, read what you got, King. The book of Psalms, chapter 109, verse 7. When he shall be judged, when he shall be judged, come on. Let him be condemned. Let him be condemned, God. And let us pray. And your prayer, like this on the precept of Proverbs 28 and 9. Your prayer, RJ, come on. Because sin. Your prayer is a sin, RJ. All right. Your prayer. We don't want your prayer. We don't want you praying for us. All right. Uh -huh. that, uh, that links up with our Proverbs 28 and 9. Your prayer is a sin. Right. So you're going in captivity and slavery, man. That's going to be our reparations. You know how reparations is having you in chains? Give me Psalms 149 verse 2. All right, give me Psalms 149 verse 2 and give me the classic. Give me uh, Revelation 13 and 9. Give me the classic. No, there's no how about, RJ. You had your chance. There was no how about. Fuck the genocide. Fuck the victims of genocide. Fuck the fucking Holocaust. Fuck the victims of genocide. Fuck slavery. Fuck slavery. Fuck slavery. Okay, RJ has spoken. <laughs> uh, RJ has spoken. Read what you got, King. Read. The book of Psalms, the 149, verse 2. On, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises of him with the temple and heart. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. What is the high praises of the Most High? The Bible. Let the high praises of Yahweh, for Hashem Mashiach Yahushua, be in our mouth. Come on. And a two-edged sword. And a two-edged sword. Come on. And their hand. And their hand. Go ahead. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Execute vengeance upon the heathen. Go ahead. And punishment. And what? And punishment. That's going to happen to RJ and his people. And, and punishment. All nations. And punishment. And punishment. And punishment. And punishment. God. Upon the people. Upon the people. God. To bind their kings with chains. Lord said we're going to bind their kings with chains. God. And their nobles. And their nobles. God. With fools of iron. You guys are going and slave you, RJ. By Shema Mashiach Yadashah. By Shema Mashiach Yadashah. Pull your shell up. 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 Pull you're going to be reproached for that sin. Read, King. Revelation 13 and 9. Right. If any man have an ear, the Lord said, if any man have an ear, God, right. let him hear. Hear what the Bible says, RJ. Come on. He that leadeth in the captivity. Your ancestors left my ancestors in the captivity. God right. shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Come on. He that came with the sword. Where you wait, robbed, and murdered, and destroyed my people with the sword. God right. must be killed. So you must be killed with the sword. Come on. Here is the patience, here is the patience, God, and the faith, and the faith, God, of the 
Lord said, Lord said, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Here's what we patiently waited for. To ensure you that he bowed down. Hey! He finally bowed down. He finally did it. Finally did it. Finally bowed down, right? Give me, give me Isaiah 60 and 12. Uh, he finally bowed down. Right? He bowed down. He didn't even have to line him up. He did it on his own. Those scriptures start cranking into his eyes, man. Those scriptures start cutting into his eyes, man. Those scriptures make him bow down on his own. Bring it home, y'all. Right. Right. Right? That's a first, man. He bowed without bowing. Well, right? that's a first. Here's what you got, King. The book of Isaiah chapter 60, verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee. Lord said, the nation and kingdom that will not serve Israel Come on. shall perish. Ye, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Man, and you're going to have the service of the kingdom. But the Lord said, even if you think you're going to get proud and not serve my people, I will do away with your whole nation. Like, come on. The glory of living shall come. Forty. Select it. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. You are the sons of those that afflicted us. All right, where's your family from? What's your family background? European? Yeah. American? Now, what are you, a wasp? How huh? white Anglo Saxon Protestant? That's what you are, RJ? Like, come on. The sons also of them shall afflict thee. The Lord said, The sons of them that afflicted thee. Come on. These shall come bending unto thee. Shall come bending unto us. Come on. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Yes, sir. <laughs> Those scriptures start lining his ass up, man. Those scriptures lined him up. And he said he bowed anyway. Right by a shoe like she had done shot. Pull the shadow. Pull the shadow. Pull the shadow. You can't. You're not going to deny the word of the Lord, man. You're not going to deny the word of the Lord. Now give me our first Corinthians 4.20. You're not going to deny the word of the Lord. And you give me uh, Hebrew. What you was holding? Give me uh, Hebrew 6 and uh, 2. All right, you're not going to deny it. The word of the Lord is not going to be denied, man. Right? We're going to exercise this power. Read what you got, King. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 20. For the kingdom of Jehovah is not in word. The Lord said the kingdom is not just in word. Come on. But in power. Or what? But in power. That's the power of the most High that you're seeing, man. Right? The, the word of the Lord is power. His kingdom and the powers we're going to possess in the kingdom is going to be shown even right here in our captivity. That's right. Now, read what you got, King. For the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. Lord said, His kingdom is not just word but power. Read what you got, King. The book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 2. Of the doctrine of baptism. Of doctrine of baptism. Come on. And of laying up the hands. And of resurrection of the dead. Come on. And of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. The Lord said, partakers of the Holy Spirit. God. And have tasted the good word of God. The Lord said, we have tasted the good word of God. We spiritually ate it and tasted that good word. Come on. And the power and the what? And the power and the what? And the power and the power is God. And the world to come. And the powers of the world to come. How powerful we gonna be in the kingdom? We're gonna have all the nations bowing down to us. We have the top leaders and kings bowing down to us. Come on. And they shall fall away to renew them and get up to repent. I sit on that. I just wanted the uh, powers of the world to come part. See that's so that's the powers of the world to come, man. This world is not a lie. This word is not a lie. The Lord said he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. When I say something, it's going to happen. Oh, that said the Lord, that said the Holy Bible. So I'm going to get one or two more and come down. That's my time. I'm going to give it to the next powerful, dynamic speaker to continue to edify and bring this word out. But remember, the true reparations is coming from the Heavenly Father. All right, give me uh, St. Mark 1 and 15, and you give me the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6 and 10. All right. What is our true reparations? The kingdom. That's oh, the Lord. That's the Holy Bible. Not no damn rally out here, man. It don't rally out here go get us the kid. Our true reparations is the kingdom. We're gonna have all nations in slavery, and we're gonna rule the earth and universe 
in righteousness. Right. Right. Those are reparations right there. Read, King. The book of First Mark, chapter 1, verse 15. Yeah. And saying, the time is fulfilled. The time is fulfilled. Go ahead. And the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. No, reparations is at hand. The kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Joe Biden is going to give us a $20 trillion check. The kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. No, go to Washington and have a rally in the march and, ask, and beg the devil for reparations. The kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. The kingdom is our reparations. Come on. Repent ye and believe the gospel. No, actual reparations. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Have an FBA Eidos march. Repent ye and believe the gospel. That's how you're going to get your reparations, your true reparations. Repent and come back to this gospel. By Shema Mashiach, I'm shot. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Thy what? Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Come on. They will be done. They will be done in what? In earth. As it is in heaven. That's going to be your reparations right there. The kingdom is going to come and the Lord's will is going to be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's your reparations right there. Now like, give me, um, 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 we read, we read Revelation 13. Oh, like, yeah, God. Right, but the Lord said what? All the nations, they're going to be our captives like we were their captives. Give me Amos. Give me Amos. Yeah, that's what I want. Give me Amos 9. Right, give, now hold on, RJ, uh, hold up. Give me Amos 9 to uh, link with Revelation 13. Well, Amos 9 started on 9. All right. Give me Amos 9, and a uh, matter of fact, start at 8. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. All right. There, here's our reparations. You heathens in captivity and slavery and rulership over all nations. There's your reparations right there. Read, King. This is the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold the eyes of the Lord God. Are upon the sinful kingdom. Listen, it's eyes. The angels are watching the sinful kingdom. Come on. And I will destroy it from all off the face of the earth. Let's, who's going to destroy Babylon America from off the face of the earth? Go ahead. Saving, I will utterly. Ah, uh, Shalaki. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Go ahead. Like a corn is sifted in the seeds, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day I will raise up the tabernacles of David, that it is fallen and close up the the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Edom that we may possess the remnant of Edom God, and of all the heathen and of all the heathen God, which are called by my name Lord said we going to possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen that are called by the Lord's name because we're going to make you nations bow down and serve the God of Israel in that day. That's right. saith the Lord, that saith the Holy Bible. So, you finish, RJ, man. No prayer, no, nothing really going to help you up, man. That, there's a done deal for you. Get used, to, get used to being like that, man. Get used to bowing down before the men of the Lord. Get used to that. Get used to it, man. You better get used to it. Now, give me, before I close out, give me Luke 24 and 46. This precept. That this scoffer claimed nobody answered. Even though he walked away, we still won't get it. Can you think he did something? My whole, his whole argument was Bibbins, Aria, and then Luke 24, 46. Let's read it, man. Read. This is the book of Luke. Chapter, you get, give me a Psalms 49, 14. Read. I mean 15. Read. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 24 and verse 46. And say unto them, Trust it is written. And thus it Behoove Christ to suffer to do what? To suffer. Now, when Yahweh said, Thus it is written, and it behooved him to suffer, that's written in Psalms 22. In Psalms 22, it breaks down what would happen to Yahweh and how he would suffer. Man, you don't need me to answer the question. Get out of here, man. Read. And to rise from the dead the third day. And to rise from the dead the third day. The brother read that in Psalms 16 and 10. He said he would not let his soul see corruption. Meaning Yahusha wouldn't stay in the tomb. He would be resurrected on the third day. And if you can't get it too damn bad, man. Read, King. The book of Proverbs has a 29 verse 15. Bring it out. 
The word of reproof no, of Psalms 49.15. I want Psalms 49.15. If this demon can't get it, then he can't get it, man. It's prophesied all throughout the Old Testament. Read, King. Psalms 49 and 15. All right, read. The book of Psalms, the 49 verse 15. But God will redeem my soul. He said, the Lord will redeem my soul. Come on. From the power of the grave. From what? From the power of the grave. He said he was going to redeem your how shall soul from the power of the grave. Go ahead. For he shall receive me. Salah. He will what? For he shall receive me. For he shall receive me. Yahweh shall say through the Spirit. Everything was prophesied in the Old Testament. He will not stay buried in the sepulchre, but the Lord will receive him. The Lord will allow him to resurrect on the third day. And if you can't get it, you can't get it. If you do that, if you can't get it, then it's not meant for you. Right. So here, all this stuff and, and nonsense and all the precepts the brother brought out, he couldn't get it. He couldn't get it. So Yahushua is all over prophesied in the Old Testament. You do ever not know the scriptures of the power of God. By Shema Mashiach Yahushua. So just for that scarf, uh, another precept to cut that damn scarf. But he ain't here, so he just ran away. I was trying to deal with him. I, I tried to be nice and say, let's deal on the side. But the man would be a scoffer and demon, so come up and get put on the summer jam screen. All right, and get cut, rebuked, and sent on your damn way, man. By a shit on my shot, I was shot. RJ, no, 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 RJ, no. No, no, no. No, 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 RJ. No, no, no. No, no, no. RJ, step back, man. No, RJ, step back. No Isaiah 41 for you, no. No, no, no Isaiah 4110 for you, man. No, you don't know. You, you didn't bow. Well, you did bow. The Spirit still made you bow. But you didn't want to say Christ was a black man. So you're done, man. You're finished, man. You're finished, man. Give me Revelation. Give me my last word. Give me Revelation 11 and 14. You don't know what color Christ I know. I tell you what color Christ We brought out the scriptures. Right? And now you're going to get proud. Now you're going to get even more proud. Before you walk away, you're going to get even more proud. No, no, he, he's no threat to nothing but himself. His ass got a damn cut up hotel towel for a damn belt. His ass is finished, man. The man had to cut up, man had to steal a damn, steal a towel from the damn Motel 6 and cut it up and use it as a belt. You finished, man. RJ, they just did you dirty, man. They didn't give you a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of in your own kingdom, RJ. That's a damn shame. And your ass going in the cotton field. And you're going in the cotton field, RJ. And you're going in the cotton field. Revelation 11, 14. Read. Read. Fuck you. Revelation 11, 14. Get your ass out of here, RJ. Right. Get on out of here, boy. I see you in the cotton field. Go on now. Go on. Go on now. Get out of here. Read. Revelation to the Lord, verse 14. The second wall is passed. The second wall is passed. Come on. And behold, the third wall cometh quickly. And that nutcase Putin is going to make sure that happens. Right? Come on. And the seventh angel sounded. And there was great voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of this world, the kingdoms of this world, come on, are become the kingdoms of our Lord. Become the kingdoms of our Lord. Go ahead. And of his Christ. And of his Christ. Come on. And he shall reign forever. And never for how long? Forever and never. We're gonna reign with Christ pursuant to Matthew 26 and Revelation the 20th chapter. His servants are gonna reign forever and ever with him by Shimonashiach Yahushua. So that's your reparations out of the Bible. There's your reparations out of the Bible. That's my time. All praise to Yahweh by Shema Shaka Rashad. House of Israel, watchman for Israel. The work goes on. Pull your shadow.